Tarot Heifer 11 here. Welcome if you are a, yeah, Aries or have significant Aries placement in your birth chart. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with you've been heard. I had some intuitive messages coming in, so we're going to call in spirit. Do a little tarot here and I will look at the energy forces coming in, how they might complement you here in November and then for sure how they're interconnected in your natural world. So as you are, if you are Aries, then you're the positive, you're the light, and some negative energy coming in. But this is a great time for people to get pregnant. So it's no surprise that it was about somebody getting pregnant, getting the news that they're getting pregnant later in life even as an older couple. Because astrologically, right now, Aries, you're going into your eighth zodiac house, okay, of intimacy, the house of Scorpio. Just came out of Libra, relating and friends. And so that if you're on somebody getting word, somebody been praying to God that I can have a baby. Spirit wants you to know later in life, especially your prayers, you've been heard. Cool. Oh my gosh, the world. Look at this. A baby, the page, no way. Welcome back subscribers and welcome new people. By the looks of these cards, you're definitely going to want to stick around and see what we've got. Just wow, you guys. Yeah, somebody's having a baby. In the page, we have love, love, the world around all of this energy. Gonna be a lot of work coming in in November. And somebody who, maybe we don't even know that somebody was praying for us, Aries. And then again, welcome if you are someone who just knows your birth chart really good and you have Aries significant placement in your birth chart of Aries. You guys coming in, yeah, congratulations here. Very positive energy. And then we see in November, astrologically, remember we've got negative earth energy as a matter of fact here coming in. But naturally, that's going to be a lot of work. And that family is growing. Having been a lot of hard work to get there. Especially if we're a little older in life. However, this resonates. Um, something arriving. It's a surprise. In a surprising way. The arrival. Yeah, and in that, Spirit even says that someone's definitely able to identify with this reading here. Absolutely. Going to have to put our solo projects on hold. Get ready. Coming up. Um, we're going to need some help from the people around us. Taking on this new life. All right, that is so cool. Spirit wants somebody to know that you are safe. Um, what it is here in the unexpected arrival is because being pregnant later in life, we didn't tell anybody about the pregnancy. We didn't tell anybody about the pregnancy in case that something went wrong. And keeping our eyes open and our heart open. We also see here in November 2022, a baby opening their eyes for the first time. Within those first four weeks, one week, one day, they open their eyes and they look at you. It's a beautiful time to find joy. And many of you are going to be building trust with that and Instilling that trust. 
I even see somebody trusting somebody with that secret, you know. And all the people had their prayers answered, <laughs> right? It's absolutely pure power and absolute joy washing over you. Coming together with this divine love has come to wash over you. You know, smoothing any rough edges and cleansing out stagnant corners of our life. This is where we even get to see how we can feel the little heartbeat. You know, and how when we hold them, they can feel and hear your heartbeat when you have them wrapped up in your arms. Yeah, if you catch a wave of sorrow, let's say you're at the age of 21, 36, 40, 45, 56, obviously the 40. I'd even say at 36, this is going to resonate. Um, Spirit wants you to know that if you catch a wave of sorrow, um, reflecting on how it can make you um, just appreciate things more. Yeah, and just take a deep, you know, take a deep breath, take a look around at that joy and everything, you know, it's just so beautiful. Congratulations, guys. Absolutely. Thank you, Spirit. Awesome messages. Someone here is definitely having a son. If somebody has trouble feeling that, um, would speak of postpartum depression. Yeah, but Spirit just wants to have you just look around. There will be the need for someone to quiet their mind, which is where I see somebody going to the little chapel there at the hospital uh, somewhere um, saying some prayers and then spirit also saying um, remember to meditate on that and um, you will be heard because God is faithful and we can pray believing that he will keep every promise that he ever made to us even when it seems impossible yeah because nothing is impossible Spirit wants you to know that nothing is impossible here in this situation. So deep, you know, it's like our DNA, it's a new you, it's a little mini me, you know, being born, a little mini me. Um, it's a new version of myself as someone who has given birth and maybe older later in life and it's your first time it's you've never done this before so it's very scary for some of us we've had children before it's just taking a step further into uncertainty in November we might feel some really strong emotions um, that might even be um, a little negative a majorly negative and Spirit says that while one chapter is ending and the another one is beginning, for now, uh, someone or you're going to be in a very in-between kind of a state. Maybe a little in-between. This card also speaks of having contractions and, can you know, expanding and contraction. Contracting, which is contractions and, um, you know, uh, dilating, right? expanding so this is uh, really somebody who's actually giving birth many of you the majority of you very strong energy of that happening in November so it's a good kind of negative energy right and then uh, spirit wanting our to know that our prayers are being answered have no doubt because somebody really does doubt Maybe doubting that you're going to make it through the labor process. And as soon as those contractions hit and you know it's time, it's go time. Yeah, that's when the shit hits the fan, right? And you're like, uh-oh. And the doubt creeps in and I don't, I'm not feeling this. I am not feeling this. I am too scared to go through this. And, and, and I'm too old for this. And in that moment, 
and all the people around you are praying for you, God wants you to know that he is listening. Spirit, great messages, Spirit. I love this. This portal will, we're going to deposit a baby through. It's coming. The baby is coming out. Maybe somebody's going to do a wet birth and get up in the water and do it in a little swimming pool with the water. That's cool. All right. Thumbs up for that, guys. Again, going to be quite a bit of work at this Empress, though. Look at us. November. What we've been doing. Well, we done did it. We done did it. What did we do nine months ago? Let me look. Uh, nine months ago, if I was in a... My birthday? Oh, wow. So we have uh, Aries here who got pregnant shortly after their birthday. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. What do we do? Where are we at? Okay, so if we're going into eighth, this is where we're at. It's like, go back nine months. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I mean, it was a couple months after our birthday. Um, somebody, maybe a Gemini, could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius that we actually got pregnant by. Some of us did artificial insemination, went to a sperm bank. I don't know what's going on. These were our eggs that we had saved. And I, because I, I did a reading, you guys wouldn't even know. But anyways... Today's a new day, and the Empress, so we had all this nine months, somebody's been praying, somebody has been keeping it to themselves too, it's like we kind of lost my voice, I, I didn't have any say in this, and then somebody not saying anything at all, right, I mean, our heart just pouring out, and then this is somebody's water breaking, Again, Spirit says, you are invited to embody a great spiritual experience. There's nothing more spiritual than giving birth. So get ready. There's no need for fear. Spirit says, instead, you can always trust that the love and care that you give out to the world, they're going to be there right there for you. Okay. Everybody's going to take really good care. So allow your heart energy to flow freely at that time when it surrounds you and the universe will assure that you never find yourself depleted you're going to have plenty of energy for this you are the white you are the light on the yin yang don't doubt yourself if just a nice little reminder from spirit how you guys compared to the you know you're a good half of us human beings who have got what it fucking takes very strong and you're going to be okay. So treat your, you know, just treat yourself good in this process and in this time. And don't worry about those. You really got to cut those fears out, though. So just remember that we can pray. We can pray. And, and God has made his promise. So good luck in your situation. And hit that like button. If any of this resonate, let me know you're out there. Thank you. Again, congratulations. I'm so happy. I'll be here for you. I'll be doing more readings. So if you want to be a member, hit that subscription button. Don't forget. Glad to have you. Right on. Yeah. Great message, Spirit. It's going to be really hard. It's a lot of work. It's labor. But it is the most spiritual experience that someone's going to have. And here we have that little... Little baby opening the eyes and looking up at you. Okay? You can feel that heartbeat. Healthy little baby. Very, very healthy. Going to keep you busy. But working, just getting through one step at a time, getting through that labor process. So, until next time, shalom.